Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Oh, all right. What's up, everybody? So we're back with another road to 400 and road to 90 going on right behind me. Juan's thrown on the mound for the first time in a while. And he's going to hit 85 today. And I have been sick for a while, so I haven't worked out or hit or done anything in about a while. I haven't hit in like 10 days, I don't think. So I'm just going to do a little bit of um, kind of getting back into it again today. <sighs> I'm gonna do a few of these to get loose. So, a couple things that I think are unique. We'll do it. We'll we'll do this drill with a hockey stick, or we'll do it just kind of holding the bat like this. And the idea is feeling yourself. We're feeling a lot of things happening. The music's really loud right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, but what I'm trying to do, whether it's the hockey stick or just holding your back kind of like this, is feeling myself making that move where I'm tilting back and where I feel like I'm getting in the ground, I'm getting behind the ground, and I'm allowing my upper body, literally from my waist up, my entire upper body is working back that way. My front, if you look at this shoulder, it's not pulling off like that. It's just staying on the ball and it's just working back like that. So that's how I'm able to stay on the ball. This would be off the ball. Right? A lot of players do this, make this move. I'm really working hard to stay on the ball right there. Now, it's an over-exaggeration, obviously. Some people, I, I know if you go in the comments, some people are going to look at this and say, you know, they're going to go, oh, you're going to pop everything up. I know people are going to say that. But you can't fight to keep your upper body or fight to keep the shoulder up. Because then you're going to pull off the ball, you're going to swing down and across. And your front shoulder just can't stay there and you can't push like this. It's got to feel like it's going to go back. So it's just a good exaggeration drill to feel that. Okay. Now, let's do a couple swings. So I'm going to start off with some regular swings. I'm using, right here is a cam wood. It's about... Um, it's about 40 ounces or so. So a couple of people asked in my last video what bat this is. Um, I'll put a link in the description below where you guys can check it out and grab one. But I like it. So it's weighted. It's 40 ounces, so it's an overload bat. But it has a lot of weight here and in the, in the knob. And so you don't feel the weight up here. And for me, it gives me a feeling of being able to control the knob of my bat and be able to get the knob turned up and get it inside the ball and feel that motion right there versus a barrel, you know, swinging the barrel. I, and Tony Gwynn, if you check out the link, Tony Gwynn talked, he, he used to like this bat a lot and uh, back when he was coaching at um, San Diego State. And he would talk about swinging the knob and this bat gave him a really good feel for that. Well, I, I like, very similar, very similar thing to being able to feel it. Controlling the knob, getting it turned up, and getting it inside the ball. So let's take a couple of swings. What I really want to feel just in my few swings today is just like when I was just doing this drill right here, I want to focus on that, on that feel back that way. So even if I miss hit a couple, I'm not even focusing on the ball right now. I'm just focusing on that move, especially where I haven't hit in a long time.
So I'm thinking right center gap. Feels like I haven't hit in so long. Got to feel more inside, more swinging kind of out from my body and not cutting across. That was always my issue when I got older and was struggling. I got to exaggerate even a bit more. I don't know if that was any better. The result was really good right there. I really tried to feel, feel it. Let's try it again. Ah, that one wasn't as good. I'm trying to get palm up and then stay palm up through this thing. Again, working, want my barrel working through the zone to right center. I'll put the camera on a different angle in a second so you guys can see. Okay, so if you think about, I don't know if you guys can see this, but we'll put this stick right here. It's one of those markers that you put in the driveway so the plows don't run over your grass. I'll lay this on the ground over the plate. But I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see. And I have it slightly towards right center gap for righty. And I wanna feel my barrel staying on that line from the inside, slightly away from my body, but staying on it until I can't anymore, and then I follow through. So, what a, lot of, what a lot of hitters do, let me grab it again, what a lot of hitters do is they go this way. They go out first, and then they cut across like this for a righty, and I'm feeling that. That doesn't mean I'm gonna hit everything in the right center, but I want my barrel turned from the inside <laughs> and attacking it from the in, from in to out, and being able to stay through that thing. And then eventually, I go to the left. Let me do a couple more. Just make sure we're still recording. Try it again. <clears throat> Let's go a couple. So now we'll go. So Camden makes the same exact bat as that, only with a one hand trainer. So it's the same thing. I'm trying to feel my hand making this move, turning palm up, and then staying through the ball. And with these, I kind of put the bat right on my neck. I'm gonna exaggerate these, so contact might not be great at first. And I'm aiming off the tee for right center field like that, tilting back. Trying to turn my knob up. <clears throat> right there. Just trying to stay palm up all the way through the ball. <clears throat> I'm going to exaggerate this move again a little bit more. <clears throat> I 
How about that one? I feel like it tilt back pretty good, but I, I feel like I turned my palm up too much on that one. Okay. Let's go last couple off the tee. Yeah, I'm not going to hit a ton today. I'm just kind of getting back into it. I had a, people, a couple of people ask about my wrist too. Some people said they have bad wrists. So I have my wrist tape right here really tight. So I can't do this very far. I get a lot of pain on the outside of my wrist. That's where I got all my surgeries. So late in my career, I started taping it. I hadn't taped it most of my career and it felt much better. So I'll give that a try if you've got wrist pain. So off the high pitch like this, I'm still trying to tilt even though the ball is high, but I'm not going to be coming in as much like this. My barrel is still going to work that way a bit, but it's going to be flatter for this ball up in the zone. Oh, felt like I might have came away from me a little bit. I mean, it's a good result. It's a line drive right through the middle, but. <clears throat> that was the one right there. One more, and that's all we need. This will get me back into it, and then I can. Back to working out again. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. <laughs> so that's it right there. If you guys want to check out these Camwood bats, I'll put it in the description below. You guys can check it out. I really, really like them. I think it, they just feel awesome to be able to really feel my hands working and not working like this, but being able to turn the barrel, be inside the ball, tack it from the inside, and then swing away from my body. Same thing with the one-hand trainer too, to really focus on, on that move with getting palm up and staying palm up through the ball. So that's all we got. Um, it's still amazing that I don't hit very much, I haven't hit in a while, and I'm still really early and you know, it's been like six, seven years since I've really hit. And I feel like the, the results right there, I didn't roll over a single ball. Everything I hit had good spin. Um, I use the middle field almost every, every hit right there. That might seem easy because it's on a tee. But I've had times in my career where I couldn't do that. I had a couple of years where I couldn't do that ever. <laughs> it's really crazy to think about. So hopefully that helped you guys out. We'll keep adding in new drills and as I'm able to, as I stop or as I get healthy, not be sick so much anymore. Um, I plan on working out a bit more. I have put on a little bit of weight just because I've upped my calories, but then I couldn't get to the gym at all. And I was sick, so it was hard to eat. I had no appetite, but I was like forcing myself to eat. Um, so no excuses. See ya.